In the world today, there are tens of thousands of people, young and old, maybe even someone in this very audience, who cannot walk because they do not yet have this knee implant that we recently invented. We call it the Engage Knee System because we believe that systems like this will one day enable people to engage in life again. But before I tell you about it, I'd like to give you a little backstory. I'd like to tell you the hypothetical story about Jane. Jane is a 65-year-old music teacher, mother of two. And she is sitting in a wheelchair in her doctor's office with her knee surgeon. And Jane and her doctor are trying to figure out what to do because Jane's knee does not work anymore. You see, when Jane was 57, she had a total knee joint replacement due to obesity and arthritis. But after eight years, similar to this knee implant here, but after eight years, that knee implant wore out and they had to actually take that knee implant out. They put in a new knee implant, but that knee implant got infected and they had to take that one out as well. And so after a series of more and more complicated knee surgeries, there was nothing left that they could do to get Jane's knee working again. And so there Jane sits in a wheelchair. Her knee does not work anymore. She cannot stand on it. She cannot bend it. She cannot control it. And so her knee surgeon is now in the unfortunate position of only being able to offer Jane three very sad choices. One, she could be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. She's 65 years old. Two, they could actually amputate her leg above the knee and have a prosthetic leg put on. Or three, they could have a procedure known as arthrodesis, where they actually stick a metal rod down your leg. Now, this arthrodesis procedure allows you to walk around with a peg leg, but you can never bend your leg again. It's glamorous if you're a pirate. Arr. But not if you're a music teacher and mother of two. Which would you choose? Wheelchair, amputation, or peg leg? Now, before you decide, I'd like everyone to give this a try. I'd like everyone to put themselves in, in Jane's position and try and put your knee straight. See if you can get your knee perfectly straight. Can you imagine having to do that for the rest of your life? When two orthopedic surgeons came to my colleague Eric Lucas and me with Jane's problem, we were shocked. I've been conducting knee joint research for 20 years, and I did not realize that there was a huge population of people for whom current total knee joint systems are of no functional use. They showed us stacks of x-rays of patients who were desperate to get up out of their wheelchairs again and control their knees and regain a better quality of life. There are over five million people in the United States right now with total knee joint replacements. That's one in 20 people over the age of 50, and that's one in 10 people over the age of 80. There are over 500,000 new total knee joint replacements currently being put in in the United States. That means that it's very likely that you know somebody with a total knee joint replacement, and that there's probably somebody in this very audience with a total knee joint replacement. In 10 to 20 years, it's very likely that many of those people are going to have to be sitting with their knee surgeon to make that same decision. Wheelchair, amputation, or fusion. This is our new knee implant that we recently designed. It's the Engage Knee System. Rather than getting a peg leg, Jane can hopefully one day soon get a knee implant like this. It allows you to walk around with a stiff leg, but when you get to the TED Talk, or the theater, or your couch, or the bathroom, you can take out a magic wand and put it to your knee and unlock it and sit down. It works with a special mechanism that allows the knee to bend. And when you're ready to stand back up, the knee locks straight again and allows you to walk. Would anyone like to borrow? <laughs> you, you've been holding your knee straight for just over a minute. Can you imagine the pain and discomfort of having to do that for the rest of your life? 
Now, we're all very comfortable with the idea of automation and technology in today's world. We have cars that open with the push of a button, doors that open for us automatically, and cell phones that work with just our voice. But could you imagine an implant that you could actually control? An implant that locked and unlocked when you wanted it to. Or perhaps one day, not into the distant future, an implant that you could program to help you walk again, run, or even jump. Imagine the fun. <laughs> We've designed the engaged knee system to lock and unlock with a, a magic wand. But there's nothing to prevent this idea from eventually being able to work with your smartphone or even your brain. Imagine an active implant that you could control to engage in life again. I predict that in 10 to 20 years, Jane will be sitting with her knee surgeon not to decide between wheelchair amputation or fusion, but to decide between which active knee implant technology she would like to have. I predict that this is the future of knee implants and for the people that you know and for the millions of people with total and joint replacements. Thank you.